Do you know your oasis from your S Club 7? The 90s witnessed the rise of grunge, the explosion of hip-hop, the dominance of pop icons and the emergence of alternative rock. Get ready to rock the 90s or maybe just your living room with 100 questions of music trivia. What is the name of the first album by Oasis? Definitely maybe. Who was the lead singer of No Doubt? Gwen Stefani. What was the name of Alanis Morissette's 1995 album that became a 90s anthem? Jagged Little Pill. What 90s band was known for the hit song Under the Bridge? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Which singer is also known as Mr. Bombastic? Shaggy. What 90s pop duo was caught lip syncing at a live performance, leading to scandal and the return of their Grammy Award? Millie Vanilli. What famous grunge band was originally called Mookie Blaylock? Pearl Jam. In which year of the 90s did Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain die? 1994. November Rain was a single by which rock band? Guns N' Roses. Who was known as the King of Pop in the 90s? Michael Jackson. The Rembrandts are best known for the theme song to which US sitcom? Friends. Whitney Houston's rendition of I Will Always Love You shot into the charts in 1992 after it was featured in which Hollywood film? The Bodyguard. Bed of Roses was a 1993 single by which American rock band? Bon Jovi. What is Eminem's real name? Marshall Bruce Mathers III. Ooh, Ah, Just a Little Bit was a best-selling track of the 90s for which artist? Gina G. Bill Corgan is the lead vocalist with which 1990s band? Smashing Pumpkins. What does Live in La Vida Loca translate to in English? Live in the Crazy Life. Which Irish band released the hit album Ak Tung Baby in 1991? U2. Which band had a 1997 hit with the song The Drugs Don't Work? The Verve. Which 90s rapper starred in the TV show The Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Will Smith. 
Which boy band had a hit with I Want It That Way? Backstreet Boys. Notorious B.I.G. Was born and raised in which New York borough? Brooklyn. According to Nashley Imbruglia in 1997, nothing's right, I'm what? Torn. In the music video for Let Me Entertain You, the Robbie Williams band dressed up as members of which rock band? Kiss. What was the band Live's first big hit? Selling the drama. What 90s band had a huge hit on the soundtrack to the 1998 film City of Angels? Goo Goo Dolls with Iris. What 90s metal band found an eager audience after being featured on MTV's Beavis and Butthead? White Zombie. What famously tempestuous 90s band had its first dust up in 1994 when one member hit another over the head with a tambourine? Oasis. 90s band Chumbawamba had a big hit in the 1997s with Tub Thumping. What does Tub Thumping mean? To forcefully state your opinions and arguments. How do you spell the name of the band fronted by JK? J A M I R O Q U A I. What song did Elton John perform at Princess Diana's funeral? Candle in the Wind, 1997. Where was the music video for Britney Spears' Baby One More Time set? In a high school. Which 1990s music genre originated in Seattle? Grunge. According to Chumbawamba's Tub Thumping, what is the first drink he drinks? A whiskey drink. Everybody's Free to Wear Sunscreen was a 1990 hit for which Australian artist best known for film directing? Baz Luhrmann. Thomas Bangalter and Guy Mandel de Homan Christo are better known as which electronic duo? Daft Punk. Who never meant to make Miss Jackson's daughter cry? Outcast. Who is the lead singer of Pearl Jam? Eddie Vedder. Which pop group formed in 1994 was made up of Victoria, Mel B, Emma, Mel C and Jerry? The Spice Girls. Criss Cross had a number one hit with which song in 1992? Jump. Who had a hit in the 1990s with Buddy Holly? Weezer. Which boy band sang about the end of the road in 1992?
boys to men. Which 90s dance craze stemmed from a hit by Los Del Mar? The Macarena. Love is all around topped the UK charts for 15 weeks for which band? The Trogs. Who tore up a picture of the Pope on US television in 1992? Sinead O'Connor. Which band had a 90s hit with the song Creep? Radiohead. Who had a hit with I would do anything for love, but I won't do that? Meatloaf. What pop artist had a late 90s hit with the song Genie in a Bottle? Christina Aguilera. Which 90s band had a hit with the song Smells Like Teen Spirit? Nirvana. Which female artist released the empowering anthem Man, I Feel Like a Woman in 1999? Shania Twain. Which rock band released the concept album Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness in 1995? Smashing Pumpkins. Which group had a hit in the 90s with the song Mbop? Hanson. Which band thought he was pretty fly for a white guy? The Offspring. What 90s band had a hit with the song Mr. Jones? Counting Crows. What band's original lineup included Jeff Emmett, Stone Gossard, and Mike McCready? Pearl Jam. Who is known for the songs Cornflake Girl, Professional Widow, and A Sort of Fairy Tale? Tori Amos. What 90s band was known for the hit song, Unfinished Symphony? Massive Attack. Losing My Religion was a huge hit for which band? R.E.M. Which rapper was known for his hit song, You Can't Touch This, in 1990? MC Hammer. In what year was Eminem's Slim Shady EP released? 1997. One, two, three, and to the four is the opening lines to which 1992 rap collaboration song? Dr. Trey featuring Snoop Dogg, Nothing But A G Thing. Can you name the artist of the 1991 original Walking in Memphis hit song? Mark Cohn. What's the name of Mariah Carey's holiday hit song first released in 1994 that still charts every year during the holiday season? All I Want For Christmas Is You. 
Who was the lead singer of the band Hole? Courtney Love. Rage Against the Machine. Which band name was an amalgamation of the final letters of the members' first names? NSYNC. Brian Warner is the name of the singer of what famous 90s act? Marilyn Manson. Which 90s band sang the song Glory Box? Portishead. Who legally adopted a symbol to replace his name in 1993? Prince. Who sang the hit song Breakfast at Tiffany's in 1996? Deep Blue Something. Mo Money, Mo Problems was a hit for which hip hop star? Notorious B.I.G. Which boy band had a hit with Matter of Time? New Kids on the Block. What was the only song to reach number one on Billboard's alternative music chart in the 1990s for the band Semisonic? Closing Time. Norman Cook is better known by his DJ stage name of what? <coughs> Fatboy Slim. Which Dolly Parton song did Whitney Houston cover in 1992? <coughs> I Will Always Love You. Aqua had a best-selling song in 1997. What was it called? Barbie Girl. What was the name of the Coolio hit from the soundtrack to the film Dangerous Minds? Gangster's Paradise. Who sang the song Where the Wild Roses Grow with Nick Cave in 1995? Kylie Minogue. What one hit wonder artist saw brief success with the song Bitch? <coughs> Meredith Brooks. What alternative group performed the songs Never There and The Distance? Cake. What kind of people did R.E.M. take to number six in 1991? Shiny happy people. Who did Billboard magazine name as the Artist of the Decade in December 1999? Mariah Carey. Leanne Rimes had a 1998 hit with the song, How Do I? Live. Which band had an international hit with Don't Speak? No Doubt. What 90s album was the iconic REM single 
Everybody Hurts featured on. Automatic for the People. Who was too sexy for their shirt in 1992? Right said Fred. Who was getting jiggy with it in 1999? Will Smith. Name the band to have a music video depicting them running naked through the streets of LA. Blink182. Which rock band reached mainstream success with the release of the 1999 album, Californication? Red Hot Chili Peppers. What are the first names of the Gallagher brothers from Oasis? Liam and Noel. In what year did the Prodigy release Firestarter and Breathe? 1996. Which song by Manchester band James was the lead song in the 1999 American Pie film soundtrack? Laid. Which rapper was famously shot in Las Vegas in 1996? Tupac. What band had a 90s hit with the song Enter Sandman? Metallica. How many members were in the Backstreet Boys? Five. Which band released the alternative rock album Dookie in 1994? Green Day. Which band had a hit with the song Black Hole Sun? Soundgarden. Bjork hails from which country? Iceland. What type of dog features on the cover of Blur's third studio album, Park Life? Greyhounds. Who had a hit with the song Gangster's Paradise in 1995? Coolio. Thank you for joining us. Please do us a huge favor and like and subscribe to the channel. Let us know how you went in the comments so we can keep making this for you.